Hi children and welcome back to Stepping Stones. My name is Pastor Alyssa, that's my cat Leonard, and it's great to be together again. I'm so glad that you are joining us from your home. I'm here in mine. Let's get started. So we always start our time with singing our welcome song, so let's sing our welcome song again. Ready? Let's sing. It's good to be together, together, together. It's good to be together and give thanks to God. It is good to be together. It's so good to see you today. Um, we are still in the season of Lent and we're getting ready for Easter. Easter is a super special holiday in the church. And so we're getting very, very excited that it's getting closer and closer by the day. Pretty soon, in just about a week, we'll be celebrating Palm Sunday. But I thought that today we could read the first part of the story to help us start getting ready. So I want to read to you out of our Bible the story, the beginning of the story of Palm Sunday. I wonder what you see on this page. Hmm. I wonder who these people are and where in the world they're going. Let's find out. Friends, Jesus said to his disciples, I need to go to Jerusalem. I have some important things to do and I want to celebrate Passover with you there. Will you come with me? Sure, said the disciples. Passover is a great holiday, such good food, and what a wonderful story Passover celebrates. The exodus of God's people from Egypt. It's good to be with friends and family at Passover. So Jesus and his friends started to go to Jerusalem. When they got close to Jerusalem, Jesus said, I'd like two of you, can you do that? Count one, two, two of you, to borrow a donkey in the next village. Please tell the owner that I need it. He'll understand. When the two friends came back with a donkey, Jesus climbed on its back and rode down the hill into the city of Jerusalem. The disciples followed behind him. Oh my goodness. Where do you think they're going? And why do you think they needed a donkey? We are going to hear the rest of that story next week as we get closer and closer to Easter. So I want you to keep thinking about that. Why did they need a donkey? And where were they going? Hmm. As we think about that, I think it'd be fun to sing another song. You all know this song pretty well. It's called Jesus Loves Me. So why don't we sing that song? Are you ready? Let's sing. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus does love all of us. And you know what? In the story of Easter, we get to hear all about Jesus' love. I'm so excited about the next couple of weeks because these are super special days. As we get ready for Palm Sunday, we're going to invite you, all you kids, to come to the church this Saturday to pick up your palms so that you can wave them. And then the next Saturday, we're gonna invite you to come to the church too to get to some special items and even to do an Easter egg hunt. The next couple of weeks are going to be so fun and I hope you join us as we keep hearing the rest of this story of God's love. So children, let's go ahead and pray. I wonder what and who you want to pray for. So I want you to think of someone you could pray for. Maybe someone who's sad or sick, or maybe one of your parents or your siblings, 
or maybe a pet like Leonard <laughs> that you can pray for. When you have your prayer, I want you to whisper your prayer into your hands, and then we're going to say amen together. Ready? Did you say a prayer into your hands? Whisper a prayer. If you don't have one yet, keep thinking. When you're done, we're going to give our prayers to God. Ready? One, two, three. Amen. Children, Jesus loves us so much. And over these next couple of days, we're going to get to hear more stories about how Jesus loves us and the whole, whole world. That's really what Easter is all about. So before you leave today, receive this blessing. Remember that Jesus loves you. You can give a blessing to someone else in your house, maybe if you want, or you can practice giving a blessing to your stuffed animals or to your pet. And then remember to give the blessing to yourself. Remember that Jesus loves you and we'll see you next week right back here for Stepping Stones. Bye!